information from, from soldiers themselves. Been really this is a video of the Lunar Lexan DS. Um, the back compartment here, as you can see, takes a standard four foot six double bed. Also, um, there is a drop down bunk which is just there, which makes another single bunk. Alternatively, you can have two side cushions running down uh, if you wish, and there's also a table in the middle if you wish that. Um, there's bl blow eating in, in there as well. Plenty of storage, as you can see, there's more than enough storage in this van, there's lots and lots. Uh, light on the ceiling there and a normal skylight. Um, we've got the coming, stepping back in the van, looking at the entrance, you've got the smoke alarm, fire extinguisher, carbon monoxide alarms, mortar mover, and just looking out into the awning. And then as we come in again, on the left hand side we've got the four burner hob uh, with a gas cooker. Everything works perfect. There's a nice stainless steel sink with a draining board and everything. Microwave's not built in in this van, but there's plenty of space to put one on the side as you can see. Again, lots and lots of storage, cupboards all the way around in this van, more than enough, more than enough. So moving down again on the left hand side of the van, we have a long bunk, and I mean a long bunk, a person over six foot could sleep on that easily. Um, we'll come to the front of the van, three storage cupboards. In the middle one there's a built-in radio as you can see, which works fine, I hope you can hear it as well. So moving down we've got a little chest of drawers with a slide out top if you wish. There's also another table, so there's two two tables actually if you want uh, for this van. On the right hand side, again everything's all nice and clean. Another long bunk, drop down shelf if you wish to put your TV on there instead of the front. And up there is a clock and again the mains lights there. You've got a full width skylight in there which opens right up. Uh, plenty of day and sunlight. There's ventilation nets on all the windows and curtains and everything, all the catches and everything work absolutely super. Now then, here, just to the side, there's a wardrobe. Plenty, of, well, there's enough wardrobe space there. And down at the bottom, we've got the Truma S3002 Eater which works on gas and electric of course and we got, again working absolutely fine down on the floor here we've got the ultra eat and ultra store uh, eaters which is for the electric side and the blown air eating there and also there as well so that's that side of the van done we're moving along again on the left hand side you've got a Dometic fridge uh, which again works on gas electric 212 volt full width shelves uh, there's no light in it, it never has been but it's actually called a power fridge as you can see so there's plenty of room in there there's a little cupboard as well which comes out here that's where the tables are stored now they've got a cutlery drawer or whichever Two little drawers at the top there, the cutlery and storage again under the sink. Plenty of storage under the sink for all your knickknacks and things. Next to the wardrobe, as you can see, there's a full length mirror and another, another little light there. Also, while we're up here, this is a, a, a vent which just winds up and it will either extract or blow air into the van, whichever you wish. Inside here, this door here, this is a toilet area, there's a cupboard there, and there's another light, so I'll just switch on, there's a light there, 
There's a light there as well. So you've got two lights. This is your wash side of the things here. A little basin, a corner basin. Quite a decent sized shower. I've got a few things in there which I have when I'm, you know, if I'm not using it, I always put something in. And there's a little mat off the floor to keep uh, things, to keep it marking the plastic. When the blow heating's on, it gets fantastic hot in here. And there's a new shower head, Eco Camel shower head, which is absolutely fantastic. To the right hand side of the shower cubicle, you've got the toilet which swivels round of course. Um, everything's okay, no 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 major faults at all. Every fan's got a few niggles but uh, not many at all on this one I can assure you. So that's that. Now then we're moving out of the van now. So that's a, a general picture down the van. Um, as I say, it looks quite nice, I think. And then this is an Isabella Capri Lux awning, which I've made into a combi awning. Again, it's in excellent condition. It's got the car latest carbon fibre poles uh, with the Isofix fixings on. Now that we're making it a combi, it's got this corner pole here running down which is again an Isabella fitment and of course draft skirts and everything and I'll just put that door to oh before I forget this door there is a door here which slides across so if you wish the rear of the van can be isolated off at night so parents and perhaps children can have their own privacy so there we go, I'll just slide that back, because I've mentioned that. So basically you've got, well if you've got four children you get them all in here, won't really. Uh, Mum and Dad up, up the front, because the front also, apart from being two long bunks, also makes a double bed. Uh, the slats pull out from the cupboard we're looking at here, and you turn the cushions round and that makes a double bed. So there we go, so that's that. So it's quite a nice size owner as you can see, there's plenty of room in here, plenty of room. Uh, we'll just go out now, I'll just shut the door. Also on this van, uh, it's, excuse me, there we go. So that's a picture of the van there, from inside the awning. There's an awning light there of course which works. Uh, the van's fitted with alloy wheels and it's got the Alco secure lock system which locks onto the axle as well. Um, I've, not, I don't, I've not put the curtains up but there are curtains with this awning obviously. So I'm moving outside. I'll just zip that up. Moving outside uh, down the other side of, down the side, near side of the van. So that's looking into the kitchen window there in the front of the van. There's also a point there as you can see for electric hook up and just here, a small locker just here at the front is for a gas barbecue. So that's the awning, <coughs> excuse me, as we're looking at it from the outside. So quite a nice size. Just step back a bit and then you can get it all in. Fits the van quite well. Isabella awning of course. Uh, this side of the van, again the awning channel, the awning on this side goes right in the channel. That's why they call it a combi. One side's in the channel, the other side's it with a pole. So here's the rear of the van. You can see Luna Lexan DS. That's the picture of the lights and everything. Again looking through can more or less perhaps see right through the van well probably reflections of trees behind me I don't know so there we go that's that side and on this side of the van the off side as you can see you've got a bedroom window bathroom window front lounge window and looking down here you've got the waste chemical point there with a filler above it for the rinse water You've got your waste masters, 
three outlets, sink, shower and waste and what little wash basin. Moving along further still, that's your battery compartment. Then we've got the aqua roll and there's the trimmer if you put the heater on gas. Obviously I'm on hook up so that's not connected up. Round to the front of the van. Uh, it's quite quite decent everything. There's a little area there as well which is built in for the uh, radio. And of course there's an aerial on the roof for the TV. So we've got our gas lockers in the big gas locker. Plenty of room in there. It's got propane gas. Just lift it up. Oh, I'll just have to move that round, that wheel round slightly. Lift it up. So there's plenty of room in here for all your knickknacks, bits and bats and whatever you want to put in there. All you need to do of course is to keep an eye on the nose weight. So that's it, it's a 2006 Luna Lexan DS in good nick for its year I would say definitely. It's recently been resealed at the front inside with new window rubbers and everything. So the van's sound and the rear awning rail uh, on the near side again has been resealed. So no problems with damp. So there we go, so Luna Lexan DS with awning and everything included, a complete setup, including the chairs in here, the table, everything you see basically folks. So I hope you like my little description, sorry about the article now and again, but there we go. Right, thank you.